All right, lots of active weather today on the Weather Network and outside your window, chances are in many parts of the country. How about the wind? The east wind had the west end of Lake Ontario rocking and rolling yesterday and that will likely continue today. And that was in Mississauga. In the Burlington area, it was equally as impressive. St. John's, Newfoundland, we've had this stubborn offshore trough that has brought not stormy weather, just you know, annoying weather, I would call it. There it is there. So, you know, a couple of wet centimeters is expected today. This is a much larger storm system. This is the one that brought the uh, severe weather, the damaging, destructive weather stateside yesterday. And there could be a little more of that today. And certainly into Ontario, you've been dealing with those strong winds, rain, which will continue today, and snow and rain changing to snow. In Quebec, you're in the action too. So we're going to go east to west across the country in between that offshore trough in Newfoundland and the uh, the storm over Ontario are the Maritimes. And you're looking at generally a pretty pleasant day. Now, note in Halifax, you got rain, snow, five degrees this afternoon. Is this an all-day event? It is not. Uh, just a little brief in and it's out, maybe a couple of hours. But there's a storm system forming off the New England coast, so not the, not the Colorado over Ontario. That's still going to be your system for a few days. But this one here off the New England coast is going to spread uh, snow initially uh, Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, and then transitioning to rain, primarily for Nova Scotia, potentially for southern New Brunswick and PEI as well. So uh, the models are kind of all over the map on this one. But we're pretty confident that northern New Brunswick could get 20 or 30 centimeters of snow. The Cape Breton Highlands. Newfoundland looks like a widespread 5 to 15 centimeters and probably similar amounts for the, uh, the southern areas of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and PEI. But it really does depend on how quickly does it transition to rain. So more rain equals less snow, less rain, more snow. But again, northern areas of New Brunswick, probably primarily snow event. And here's the strong winds. Uh, not so much today, a little gusty in Newfoundland, but those winds will be picking up through Thursday, likely peaking Thursday night. And this looks like 60 to 90 kilometer an hour wind gusts. Let's go to Ontario where the snow has been falling north of Highway 17, south of their rain showers. We've had locally heavy rains and we're gonna get more of that again today. Some pretty dark hues in this green. That's heavy rain. Can't rule out a thunderstorm. The wind still strong, particularly through the morning hours with gradually easing this afternoon. The rain or evening, the rain transitioning to snow with higher accumulations in those higher elevations. And if you're in Ottawa or Montreal, uh, rain showers this afternoon changes to snow and you're going to get a significant amount between tonight and tomorrow. So there's first of all your rain, the heaviest rain near the shores of Lake Ontario. Again, still with that east wind, it is an unpleasant day right up towards Georgian Bay, London and West not a lot of rain for you. Eastern Ontario and the Northeast and into Quebec. Now we're talking about 10, 20 plus centimeters of snow. Great impact for your Thursday commute. And across the West, the cold fronts moved across BC. It is dropping your temperatures, also dropping the temperatures into Alberta. You want warmth today? Saskatchewan, the place to be. Uh, so glad you could join us on the Weather AM. It is Wednesday, April the 3rd. We're going to start things off in Porto Cove in beautiful House Sound, British Columbia. And the sea lions having fun. Thank you, Brad604, for sharing this in. Yeah, they're frolicking, all right. Uh, a cold front has passed British Columbia, has crossed the province, and temperatures in the interior yesterday in the low 20s will be about half of that today. Still some mild winds for now in southern Alberta. That is going to change. Already starting to see some snow up in the hills. So this afternoon, a lot of single digits in uh, British Columbia. Yesterday, we were 21 in Kelowna, 24 in a Soyuz, so you can pretty much chop them in half. That's after the front. Not a lot of precipitation, but uh, freezing levels are low, so we're getting some snow showers higher up. The southern and eastern interior of BC could still see lingering showers at sea level, flurries higher up uh, for the next couple of days, but I'm certainly not going to call it stormy. And here's a look at your forecast. So no more 20 degrees in Kelowna or Kamloops this week, but still some fair weather to come in places like Nanaimo and Abbotsford. All right, let's go to east of the Rockies. The warmth today into Saskatchewan. Of course, we had this near 20 degrees in Edmonton and close to Calgary yesterday. But take a look at 
in Saskatoon today, 20 degrees. Tomorrow, 5. So we're going to feel that cold front. Regina still holding under the warmth. And look at Alberta in the south. Not so much Edmonton, but Calgary south and west snow. So snow today, really more so for the foothills and the Rockies. Tomorrow, though, more widespread in southern Alberta. Could be impacting not only your morning, but your evening commute into Calgary and potentially even into Friday morning as well. South and west of the city, you could be looking at upwards of 20 centimeters of snow. East of the city, lesser amounts.